Today, you're about to meet one extraordinary Doberman named Glock and his owner, Savannah. And yes, these two, they've bonded together by doing something just so unique and so unusual. Long distance road trips on a motorcycle. When I heard about Glock, I just had to get Savannah up on the phone just as soon as possible. And with her help over the last, I don't know, six months or so, we've collected countless hours of footage with her on the road with her Doberman, every angle, even the public's reactions. I even got Savannah to give us a rundown on exactly how in the world she trained her Doberman to ride on her motorcycle with her, and even the problems it's caused on the road from the public. All of this just for this one video. So let's actually let Savannah show you what Glock is capable of and how she got him to do this. And remember, you're only getting this right here on Doberman Planet. So don't forget to subscribe. Button's right down below. Hey everybody, my name is Savannah and this is my Doberman Glock. We live in the beautiful state of Mississippi. As you can see, I ride a motorcycle. And not just riding by myself around town, I ride with my Doberman. Riding with my Doberman on the back always brings out a lot of different reactions from other drivers on the road. I have had a lot of people pulling up alongside of me as I was riding on the road to get a photo of him, and I've even had people hold up traffic. I even once had a trucker hold up traffic in the lane next to me just so that he could get a photo of my dog while I was on I-40 between Arkansas and Tennessee. A lot of the time people will stop and talk to me as well while I'm in grocery parking lots to ask me questions about how he rides or just tell me how cool that is, get a photo. They usually want to share it with someone that they know who's a dog lover in their life. Glock is actually my service dog. He's trained to detect my uh, low blood sugar. Since Glock is my service dog, I'll often take him to town to go get groceries, run errands, or even just ride around town for the fun of it. But he's also comfortable enough on the back of the bike to go take long road trips cross country. Glock has been to Mississippi, of course, but he's also been to Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. My motorcycle is my main mode of transportation, so I ride in most all weather. I have certain things in place to help him when it's you know cold or wet. So for example, I have a battery-powered heated sleeping bag insert that I use for the winter when it's cold to, so he can stay nice and warm. I have a rain cover for him for when it's raining. And I also have a sun shield for those very sunny hot days so he doesn't get too hot while we're riding. He also wears these goggles to protect his eyes because we don't want debris, rocks, dust, anything getting into his eyes while we're riding because that will cause eye damage. I know I've already said this, but he loves riding with me. He's capable of doing two hour legs between breaks, but the longest he's ever ridden total time was 10 hours. That, that's about his max but he was able to go 10 hours on one of our road trips cross country. Glock has even slayed the dragon, as it's called in motorcycle lingo, because he's ridden the entire length of the Tail of the Dragon. The Tail of the Dragon, for those who don't know, is a very technical road that stretches between Tennessee and North Carolina. It's only about 11 miles long, but it has 318 twists and turns. So it's very popular amongst motorcyclists to challenge ourselves to ride it. Glock did really well on the tail of the dragon. He enjoyed just riding through the twists and the turns, so that's how he slayed the dragon. So this right here is Glock's seat that he sits in. It is custom made for my dog and for my bike. It has a tubular metal frame for stability. It has padding on the outside so that the dog has something soft to lean up against. And it even has a nice mattress on the inside so he has something soft to lay on. His harness secures to the seat with two loops. The first one is up in the front, allowing the straps to pass through it and snap in. The rear one, it's the same idea. You take the rear strap and you push it through. That secures his rear so that now he's safe and secure in the carrier and he can feel comfortable riding. Most of the weight of the dog is on the passenger seat, making it feel more like you're traveling with a regular passenger than a four-legged passenger. Having this seat allows Glock and I to have so much fun together doing something we both enjoy and we get to get out and explore new places. All right, so the first thing we gotta do before we can get him ready to get up on the seat is to take him potty, so we will be right back. Come on, let's go, let's go potty, let's go potty. Since it's winter time, I have a jacket for him to keep him warm as we ride. So the next step is we put on his harness. Since it's 
cold out, it's winter time, I need to keep him warm, I have the electric insert I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna put it on his seat so I can keep him warm before we go and head out on a ride. Now he's ready to load up onto the bike. Stay. Load up. Spin. Good boy, yes. Good boy. So now I'm gonna show you guys how the harness works. So the straps come through and they snap in and I just secure it down a little bit. Get the second one. All right, now he's secure. Now comes the fun part. The goggles. There you go, good boy. All right, and I like to put cotton balls in his ears to protect his hearing. There you go. Now he's all ready to go. We're gonna jump right back to Savannah and Glock in just one second, guys, and you're definitely not gonna wanna miss what they're about to do next. Glock is all ready for his adventure, and they're gonna hit the road together and take you along for the ride. But really quick, I do wanna take a moment to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ollie Dog Food. And if you really want to fuel your Doberman the best way possible to join you on your crazy adventures, definitely give Ollie food a try. Ollie is a fresh human grade dog food service. It ships straight to your door. Their food is minimally processed, designed with vet nutritionists, and their recipes contain only real clean ingredients. They just use real chicken, real beef, turkey, and lamb, which are the first ingredient in every Ollie recipe and the primary source of protein in their meals. And we know as Doberman owners that proteins are such an essential part of this breed's diet, and not just the amount that they get, but also the quality of the protein, and Ollie definitely has that handled. In fact, their meals have no fillers, byproducts, artificial flavors, or preservatives. They use just real whole vegetables, and the best part is that their meal plans are custom tailored to your dog. That's actually a huge reason why we recommend Ollie here at Doberman Planet, not only just for the amazing quality of the food, but also the fact that they understand that Dobermans are unique and they actually customize their dog's diet plans based on this. So give Ollie a try. Besides those amazing health benefits, you may also be surprised about the positive effects it also has on your dog's behavior as well. Just like longtime Doberman Planet viewer Anna recently found out after feeding her Doberman Ollie for the first time. I'll have a link to Ollie in the description down below with a coupon code that you are free to use. Just use the code Doberman Planet, all caps, all one word at checkout, and you'll get a huge discount off your first box of Ollie food. That way you can give it a try with minimal investment and really see the changes in your dog too. Okay, let's kick it back over to Savannah and Glock. to share my story to encourage you guys to get out there and do unique things with your Dobermans. They love being with us so we just got to get a little creative on how we can involve them. And for me, since Glock is my service dog, I needed him to be with me as much as possible. I didn't want to have to give up something that I really loved doing and that I've grown up doing so I had to figure out how to get him on the bike. Initially, at first he was hesitant. Any smart dog like a Doberman would be when you introduce him to anything new. But over time, he learned he gets to be with his human, he gets to go see new environments, and he really came to love the motorcycle just as much as I do. I also wanted to appear and say thank you to Doberman Planet for all of your videos. You guys have helped me so much with raising Glock and learning the different struggles that could happen with the Doberman breed, what I can do to help him, the training, going through the teenager phase, that was a struggle in and of itself. So thank you, John. Thank you, Doberman Planet, for all of your videos. So if it's not obvious already, Dobermans can clearly do just about anything with their owners at all. There's nothing they love more than being by their owner's side, no matter what they're doing. Maybe this is where I need to say, don't try this at home. I don't know, but yeah, obviously, please don't try this at home. Please don't forget to show your support for this channel, guys, and visit our sponsor down below of today's video. It's Ollie Fresh Dog Food, who I wholeheartedly recommend on this channel quite frequently. Um, their link is in the description down below, and please feel free to use our coupon code. It's Doberman Planet, all caps, all one word, 
You might as well use it anyway because it'll get you just a ton of money off your first box of dog food. Do you have a unique story or situation with your Doberman that you'd like to share with the world? If so, we would love to hear from you and possibly even feature you on an upcoming episode of Doberman Planet. So just head on over to DobermanPlanet.com slash tell my story and tell us a little bit about yourself and your dog. The link for that will be in the description down below as well. And don't worry, we love all unique stories involving Dobermans. Yours doesn't have to be doing something crazy like riding motorcycles with your dog, although that's fun too. Please keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors, guys. Involve your dogs in everything you do. And of course, I'll see you next time.